press conference about uh, one Honorable Yusuf Hussein, member of the County Assembly Dela Ward, Elders Constituency, Wajia County, who has been missing, allegedly abducted since Friday evening to death. We, the members of parliament, gathered here, express our deep distress and profound alarm over the shocking and brazen disappearance of Dela MCA Ward, the Honorable Yusuf Hussein, alias Tolfio. In a grievous and unconscionable act of abduction, the Honorable Yusuf was forcefully taken four days ago while en route to South Sea in Nairobi. This appealing incident is not just an attack on an individual, but also a direct assault on the rule of law in Kenya. The abduction unfolded in a, shocking, in a shockingly bold manner while traveling in a taxi near Enterprise Road. Honorable Yusuf was intercepted by two unmarked vehicles. The occupant forcefully kidnapped him, confiscated the taxi driver's telephone in order to stifle immediate communication. Fortunately, his mobile, which inadvertently, inadvertently fell inside the taxi during the scaffold, was later recovered by the taxi driver. Although unaware of the passenger's identity, the taxi driver acted with a commendable responsibility by promptly reporting the incident to industrial area police station. Kenya is a nation governed by laws. No one is above the law. Intimidation and violence have no place in our society. And finally, we urgently call upon the Office of the Inspector General and all the relevant government agencies to widen their scope of investigation and expedite the search for Honorable Yusuf and by extension prioritize his immediate recovery. Those responsible for this area's act must be swiftly apprehended and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. We will not rest until Honorable Yusuf is severely returned or produced before a court of law if there is any evidence. MCA, a leader who has been abducted for weeks, cannot be missing. If he is a criminal and there is sufficient evidence to pin him down, we expect that we request the government to bring him to the courts of law so that he can face justice. But he can't be missing a leader. If he's missing tomorrow, I'll be missing. I'm equally a leader. So we want the rule of law and the, uh, the just criminal justice system to be functional, to convince all Kenyans that we have a reliable, dependable justice system. That is all we are asking for. It's governed by the rule of law. Our constitution is based on the rule of law and democracy. We cannot allow this to happen at this era. My message goes directly to the President of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. His Excellency William Samoy Ruto. During last term, he served under a government that was abducting leaders left, right, and center. And we thought and still believe he is the hope for Kenyans to stop that act. It has been rampant in the recent past in northern Kenya. Leaders have been abducted. Um, members of the public, how safe are Kenyans if a leader can be abducted in a broad daylight? Is a question we need to ask the security apparatus in this country. We don't know where the honorable member is. The family are under distress. The entire voters of Dela Ward are also stressed. We don't know his whereabouts. We want the government to come out and tell us where the Honorable MCA is. They cannot take the rule of law in their hands. The issue that used to be there with, with the last government, but we thought it has ended uh, with the, the 2022 general elections. Immediately after the elections, the current president abolished even the, the, the unit that was dealing with this kind of, you know, uh, abductions, kidnappings, that happened even to the government employees.
I remember it happened to them, the chiefs, it happened to teachers, it happened to health workers, it happened to so many people. After being held for seven, eight months, I remember of a chief that was just thrown into the bush while he was completely out. You know, this has been happening with the, with the last government. But after the swearing in of the current president, His Excellency William Samoy Ruto, he gave an, a, a statement himself. He abolished the unit. It has really, you know, it has been halted for few, I think, few months, but it came back. This thing is now uh, with us. So many people are missing. Uh, other than the elected leader, we have so many civilians that are missing. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the statements are all over in the police stations. Unfortunately, now it came to the leaders. We are, we, we are missing an MCA. Tomorrow it will come to the members of parliament. It will, it will come to the governors. It will come to the senators. We cannot accept this kind of you know, uh, issues happening in our country. The trend which has been happening, mostly in northern Kenya, uh, not only for the member of uh, county assembly. This is a leader who has been elected. And if there is anything, if, if a leader is not safe, then who else is safe in this country? One can wonder. Secondly, there is the issue about, people are talking about, if it's not with the government, the, the member of the county assembly, if it's not with the gov government, is not holding him. Why are we questioning? Because the responsibility on the lives and security of everybody vests on the government of Kenya, nobody else. So we have no doubt if this guy would have been adopted, uh, abducted somewhere in Wajia, one may even doubt that this could be Al-Shabaab or anything like that. But in the heart of the country, Kenya, in Nairobi, you have no any other to blame, but it's the government now to produce this person, either take him to court, I have already from my, my Solo County, three of the young boys have been adopted and they are nowhere to be seen for the last three months. Appealing to the government to expedite the investigation into the whereabouts of this honorable member, a state officer, somebody who was elected, and the government ought to have given him ample security in the first case. Secondly, we are appealing if this honorable member is in the hands of security agencies, then he should be produced in court immediately. We are not saying that uh, those people who are suspected of having any, anything to do with uh, breaking the law, we are not trying to protect anybody here. But we are saying if anybody is guilty of anything, or if anybody is suspected of anything, then they should be subjected to the due process of law. It has been anguish. And it has been sorrow in the region for a long time now. When you find your relatives, your friends, your constituents disappear without trace. Recently in my constituency in Mandera South, one of our constituents, who is also a relative in a way, disappeared for the last three years. And we had to, you know, we didn't know how to do, how to, how to, how to perform the closure for the family of that, of that person. And we had to re re resort to uh, uh, religious, you know, ruling on that. What happens if somebody has disappeared for three years? You don't know whether he's alive, you don't know whether he's dead. We had to perform some rituals to give closure to that family. And we don't want families from Northeastern or any part of this country to be subjected to this uh, every now and then. Um, I wish to my colleagues and follow suit that uh, Honorable Yusuf the MC for Dela has been missing for the last five days. Constitutionally, I think, uh, if at all, somebody has been held by the security apparatus, it's supposed to be in, uh, been produced court, in court within 24 hours. And therefore, we want to appeal to anybody, all the security apparatus, to produce use of court. If he's a criminal, we will, the court will take his course. Uh, if and if I say again, if Honorable Yusuf is not being held by any of the, the security apparatus, then it is the responsibility of the government to seek and look for Yusuf as every Kenyan has a right 